<laughs> hey, um, do you ever just like down chocolate chips? I'm kind of doing that right now, but they're mini, so they're healthy. I'm making food and I'm getting certified to be a running coach. So I'm listening to the lesson and reading along, currently just waiting for my chicken to brine. I told my coach, plugged the race into my calendar and she was like, oh, whoopee. I was like, hey, um, but she's down. She believes in me. I have the best coach ever. So she's plugging workouts into my calendar. So pretty soon, pretty soon I'll know my plan for the weekend, what the long run is. She did say I need to start doing hills, which I know from my course is really helpful for your form really helpful for building back endurance and making sure that you're actually like running properly and establishing really good biomechanics early on. Look at me, biomechanics. I just like use that term casually. This weekend's gonna be fun and I'm excited for a long run somewhere. Oh wait, no, I'm running a 10K, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> So that is mom brain. I was like, oh my gosh, what run am I doing this weekend? I could go like on a trail. No, I'm running a 10K on Sunday. So that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod. We're gonna make this pizza. So hello and welcome <laughs> to Cooking with Brie. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but you probably don't either. So we're in this together. So key things about barbecue chicken pizza. You need barbecue chicken or just chicken in general. You need pizza dough you can make yours if you're that kind of mom i'm not so i buy it in this little can and uh spinach you can like load spinach on there and it kind of disintegrates red onion very very important chop that bad boy up and mozzarella cheese so you basically like spread out the crust put a bunch of barbecue sauce on it cheese it on up meat veggies I usually like to have a green bell pepper too, but I don't have one of those with me, so. So I'm gonna make that, I'll show you the end result. So it's Tuesday. We're doing some hill sprints. Um, it's hot outside, it's like really hot outside. And I have a new route that I'm gonna be trying because the area around my house is so flat. It's like flat farmland that I have to drive like 10 minutes to get anywhere that even has hills. So, you know what it is? When it's sweaty, don't forget it. So I got a two mile warm up, 10 times sprinting up, sprinting back down, or uh, sorry, walking back down when I get to the hill that I'm supposed to find. And then um, two mile cool down. So let's go. Not gonna lie, this is hilly and this is the warm up. It's mild elevation oh god i'm screwed i'm screwed for this ultra we gotta train this ain't gonna work also i just ran by this guy who i was like you know out on a nature preserve plenty of houses around and stuff but it still feels kind of like you're alone oh man and he was like i'm like oh god it's kind of scary and he goes get it girl I'm like, oh good, you're gay. You're safe. What a blessing. I'm not even done with the warm up. I'm getting my ass handed to me. It's a very hilly hill. You can't tell on video. Whew. 10 times, up and back. Halfway. Three more. Four more, wait. Okay. Last one. How purple am I right now? Oh no, done with the hills. Whew, kicked my butt. Oh, there's a dog driving a golf cart. Can you see it? Hey. That's fun. Two miles back to the car. Let's go. Whew. Back to the car. Uh, it's so hot. Look at how red I am. 
I am literally the color of my shirt. Holy crap. So glad that's over. That was really hard. I only did five miles too. Two mile warm up. I guess it was only like a mile for the hill sprints. Not really sure how that happened, but whew, that was rough. Really good workout. Stoked. And I have a 10K on Sunday. So just 20 minute easy run tomorrow. Day off on Saturday, 10K on Sunday. Let's go. Hey. <clears throat> so I've always said I'm only gonna spend as much money on my vlog as I make. So like if I make money, then I will spend it on a nice camera to make better quality videos. So that's kind of like what I'm trying to do right now is like improve the quality because I got 28 new subscribers this past week. So I'm kind of blowing up. <laughs> Not really, but I'm um, excited about that. And I think that's really cool. And if you're one of them, hi, thanks for being here. And I still have not spent any money on this vlog because my mother-in-law lent me this camera. I was telling her about how we're on a budget, but I kind of wanted to buy one of those nice like vlogging cameras or whatever. And she was like, I have a nice camera that I bought like 12 years ago. Let me, um, let you borrow it. I'm like, great. Get ready. I have a 10 K tomorrow. I am not going to race it, but I might. So here's the thing. It's a 5k, 10k half marathon. So you can like do any of the distances. And here's my thought, cause I'm only 10 weeks postpartum on Monday. So like, I'm not doing any crazy PRs tomorrow, but I have a feeling that a lot of people signed up for the half marathon or the 5k. The 10k is a, not a super popular distance to race. Cause I think personally, I think 10k's are the hardest cause it's like a 5k twice and 5k's are really freaking hard and then you just basically are doing that two times brutal so my thought is i might be the only one in my age group that is participating or like one of the few so i might be able to still take home something i need to look at the like results of last year because i might be totally wrong but i'm just like a little bit competitive so we'll see how it goes today i have a 20 minute little shakeout run i'm gonna head to the gym for the free childcare and bring my toddler and then run on the treadmill. So, see you guys later. Okay, time for a shakeout. We're at the gym with my toddler. Gonna be running on the treadmill. So this is gonna suck. I'll report back when I'm done. Update. <clears throat> the treadmill sucks. It is confirmed. No bubbles. Let's play golf. Let's play with your golf clubs. Shakeout done. Excited for tomorrow. Carb loading for lunch. Yum. So it's the night before. My throat feels like crap and my stomach feels like crap. So I'm going to bed early. Here's my outfit. Shorts, tank top, sports bra, long sleeve, shorts, sweatshirt. I'm gonna put them on probably in about that order. Ate a piece of birthday cake because we went to a birthday party today and I feel like crap. So hopefully that digests and goes away by tomorrow. I'm like nervous. I'm nervous for this mid 10K. We'll see. Happy race morning. It's really early. Coffee is hot enough. Gotta bring my pumps. This is the life of a breastfeeding. Good morning! Slay. We made it. So, um, Cycle Bar has a booth at this 5K, 10K half marathon. So we set that up. This is Josh. Oh, and then here's the Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. Looks like Trader Ho's. That's you and me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. 1.7 miles in. Went way too fast in the beginning. I don't know why I did that. Mile two. I'm like at an eight minute pace gonna try to hold this for another mile. Carla, welcome back. Regina Story, Sonny O'Connor. Melody. Did it. Miranda. 
It's over. Thank God, that was so hard. So I placed second in my age group. <laughs> so that's cool. That was hard. Do you see my face right now? I'll do a little recap once I shower and look like a human being again. Nice. Everyone in my house is sleeping. So I have to be kind of quiet. But um, that race was really hard. <laughs> I knew that I had like kind of a little fiery competitiveness in me um, starting out. <clears throat> In the first like quarter mile, I just like ripped it. Like I was so stupid, um, went way too hard, way too early. And if you've done that before, you know how it feels. Like my legs started to kind of give me that like, kind of like lactate like feeling when it's just like burning in your quads. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> why did I do that? So then I just was like, you know what? You got yourself into this damn mess. Like you need to just keep going, keep trucking along. And last night, I think I recorded, I started feeling like a little bit sick. So on top of going way too hard in the beginning, I also didn't feel amazing. So quarter mile in, I'm like, all right, we're just gonna hold on, try to get to like two miles. Once it's a third of the way done, reassess. Um, got to about two miles, still was just like, this is really hard. And then I got to three and I was like, okay, we're halfway. Um, I basically was just trying to hold on to like an eight minute pace the whole time. I honestly wasn't even paying that much attention to pace. I was just paying attention to my heart rate and my heart rate. I'm gonna put a little chart of my heart rate was like so high, <laughs> like maxed out. I was struggling that whole time. I'm sure the race pictures are gonna be ridiculous and I'm gonna look so dumb, but it was honestly very fun, very humbling. Um, when I was nine months postpartum with my son, I ran like a 45 minute 10K. So I know that it's just gonna be a process to get any kind of speed back. And right now the focus is not speed, it is endurance and just building that back for the 50K. So I would call today like a really fun day. This week was awesome. And I'm just excited to get after it next week. I have like 25 30 miles on the calendar ish um, along with some strength training so and more hills i'm ready I'm ready to get after it so happy sunday thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one